Hello everyone, my name is Alex. This is an episode of the course How to Learn Java Within 50 Days. Link to the full playlist is in the description below. In this episode specifically, I'm going to cover installing the Java Development Kit. The Java Development Kit offers you a compiler that will make you able to compile code from code that you can understand to code that your computer can understand. So we're going to start right off with, with installing it. Then we're also, at the end of this tutorial, going to write a simple Java program. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover uh, what it does, etc. This little program that we'll write in the end of this. So, yeah. The first thing I want to do is open up my internet browser. Now, I'm going to use Google Chrome for this because I think it's the best browser ever. So, right off, if you're not using Google Chrome, this is the search bar. Well, it's the, the uh, address bar, but in Google Chrome, you can also use it for searching. You might have your little Google box or Yahoo box right here, but I'm just going to search in here. So this is Google. I'm going to Google Java JDK, and I'm going to click the first link here, and it's going to take me to oracle.com. As you can see, it says Java SE Downloads, Java Standard Edition Downloads. We're going to scroll down on the page, and we're going to, going to click Download on the Java SE 7U5, Update 5. So we're going to download the Java Development Kit, Standard Edition. We're going to scroll down a bit, and you can see two different like check boxes. We're going to check the one with Accept License Agreement. And then we're going to choose our operating system. Now you can just simply choose your operating system. Mine is Windows, so um, I, I got Windows times 86. So I'm just going to hit download here. Now this is going to start downloading a new file and it's going to be saved automatically for me into the down, my downloads folder. Now I don't need to download this again. Actually click the link right just like that. But I'm actually not going to download download this file. Uh, but what, once it's downloaded for you, you can go to the directory where you've saved the file, double click on it, and it will open up, up an installation guide. Go through that installation guide, and Java will be almost finished in installing. There's one more thing we have to do before we can start developing Java programs, and that is setting up a path to the Java bin. And the bin is basically the comp compilator that compiles stuff for you. So we will need to set up that path so our computer can understand where that is. So if you remember your your ins installation directory, that's a very good thing. So go into your computer and find that directory. If you just click next, 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 it should be where I'm where where I've got it located. So my main hard drive. I'm gonna go to my program files, time set is six. I'm gonna go down to Java, and then I will find my new installation installation in here. And um, I installed, well, I would have installed an even newer version than 1.7.0, but anyway, will be. I, I can I can of course use this version. Doesn't really matter. I'm normally using the 1.6 because more people are still using, or there's many people still using the 1.6 version and they haven't adapted it to 1.7 but you can go ahead and use the 1.7 doesn't really matter so go into the folder that you install it with or your installation folder and click up here well once into the bin click up here and hit control C or right click hit copy and then it's done if you're on Windows XP or, or any older version you might not be able to click up here so then you want to right click on any of these hit properties and copy the path right here the location should say for you so once you have that copied you want to go go into your start menu right click on computer that is what this one says properties at the very bottom and it should open up this window and if you're on Windows XP it will just do this step for you so if you're on Windows 7 or, or, or Vista, hit the Advanced System Settings, which should be at the bottom right here. 
This will open up this little window that will come if you're on Windows XP just directly, uh, and even if there's a few more tabs on a Windows XP. And then you want to go to Advanced, this little tab, Environment Variables, this one should say, I'm not entirely sure, but it should be at the, or it will be on the bottom anyway. Hit, hit that, and as you can see, we got a variable here called Path, User Variables for me. Well, I'm Alex, so User Variables for me. Then we got the variable names, as you can see, we, I've already got this path, you haven't got this path yet, so we're going to create that for you. So hit New, type in the variable name Path, very important, you type in Path or path, um, whatever you want to call it. Then do you control V or right click and hit paste. And then and once it's there, just hit OK. Now I already got the version version 1.6 and I, I'm gonna keep my version 1.6 there because I want to use that. Uh, but you just hit OK and everything should work for you. So in order to test everything out that, that it worked, we want to we want to write our simple Java program. In order to write a simple Java program, we can use any text editor, uh, except some some editors like WordPad, I believe, adds, adds a lot of extra stuff to the text, so, so we don't want to use WordPad. Um, so, just click your start menu and open up your notepad or anything. In here, what you want to type, you can just copy me and I will explain what everything does in the next episode. What you want to type in is class. Uh, hello world, we're going to write a really simple um, Java program. And this is what everybody starts with, a hello world program. Prints out in your CMD or command prompt, hello world. Public static void main string args. This is the main method. We're of course going to cover everything in the next tutorial, as told, told before. And then system out print line, system.out.print ln sense for print line. And then uh, two um, citation signs stuff. <laughs> then we want to type in hello world. Okay, so once we type th all these things in, or this code in, we want to save the file to our desktop just to give it an easy location where we can simply find it. I'm going to hit desktop and I'm going to save it as hello world.java. Very important to save it as a .java file, else this is not going to be able to be compiled. Hit save, and now it should appear on your desktop. Now it does not appear on my desktop, because I need to show my desktop icons. So you probably not have any problems with that. So I'm just going to, just now when you know that it's actually on my desktop, I'm just going to hide my desktop icons again. Um, but open up your command prompt, because this is where we're, we're going to compile it in the first two episodes, or at least the first one, probably only the first one. Type in cmd and open up this, this thing. This is the command prompt, uh, the cmd, and you're using it. It's just like your computer, like, just like your explorer. You can explore in here, and you can go around in, in your entire file system. As you can see right now, I'm located in, in my C, users, Alex. And I, of course, want to get to the, to the desktop. And that folder is under users, my name, and then desktop. But first of all, I just want to go over a, a, some, simple pro, uh, some simple commands in the command prompt. If you type in cd, that, mean, that stands for change directory. If you type in that and then a backslash, it's going to take you to your main hard drive. So back to C. Now we of course want to get to the desktop, so we could have just typed in cd, change directory, to desktop. But we want to do it this way. So cd, users, try yourself, cd, alex, or whatever your name is, and then cd, desktop. Once in the desktop, you can type in dir, stands for directory, and, then, and with that command we can view all of the files. So I've got everything in here. And, of course, I am looking for the hello world.java right there. In order to compile the file, since we're in the right directory for, for, getting the, for, for being able to, to use this file for things, we type in java c, stands for java compile, and, and, and notice this command only works if you've, you've set up your java correctly. 
if this won't work, then, then go back and review this tutorial. Type in Java C stands for Java Compile. Hello world. Dot Java. Very important to have the file extension here. Hit enter, and it it's gonna take a little while, and then it's gonna be compiled. So now it's compiled. So if I do dir again, you can see that I got a hello world dot class as well as the dot Java. So it compiled itself into dot class. So now it's basically two files. It changed from dot Java to dot class. Well, the dot Java is still there. So now I want to type in is Java, and this is going to run our file. So Java, hello world. And this time we don't need the file extension, so just, just go ahead and hit enter. As you can see, it says hello world. That's just what we wrote in code. We told it to write hello. Let's close that, and we're just going to review the code for a second. As you can see, system.out.println, print a line in the command prompt that says hello world. So that's it for this for this part. And in the next part, if you're you're following along this as a course, if you're follow, following along this, um, if if you you're doing this as a course, then in the next episode or in the next part of this course, we're going to install a program called Eclipse, which I got right down here, and it is used for um, writing Java code. It's basically a text editor for Java code and it makes our life a whole lot easier. So thanks everyone for watching, and I hope I hope you're following along this as a course. And uh, yep, so um, I guess I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if, if you like these videos, um, please please send me a, a little donation. Uh, my, my website will be in the description, and um, I would be really happy if you did that. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.